so we're we're on our 13th day um, driving across country and back um, looking at a lot of different uh, muscle cars all brands Ford, Chevy but mostly Mopar is what we're interested in looking for um, we were coming up from South Texas uh, and kind of not heading towards uh, Austin but it was kind of on the way and Tony had remembered a lead that we had gotten from a friend of ours of a yellow Superbird. And so he had reached out to, uh, to the gentleman that we knew that owned it. And in that you know, conversation, it came to, to uh, find out that it's actually his daughter's car. He gave it to her when she was like 12. And so it's her decision whether or not she wants to sell it. And so he said, come on over, let's talk Mopar. And he'd have her there. And you know, who knows if she wants to sell it or she doesn't want to sell it. Um, but we could at least take a look at the car and, and chat with him. And we're already kind of in the area. So we figured we'd go ahead and you know head over and do that. Do you remember um, the color of the car and like the options? Uh, so it's a uh, it's lemon twist, uh, bucket seat console. I don't remember. If it was the numbers numbers that thing. No. Yeah, oh, I, you don't know? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember if Tony got that over at Deep or if the or guy even knew. knew. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see when we get there if it is for sale. If not. Uh, yeah, so they may allow us to film, they may not, we're not sure yet. Um, Tony had to go home last night, um, so he's not going to be with us today. Uh, we'll see him tomorrow. Uh, he had a, a prior engagement, a wedding to go to, so um, he had, you know, things he had to get home for. So after this, we'll head up to Dallas, uh, pick him up, and head to Albuquerque, New Mexico uh, for another car. So uh, stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. We're here to see a, a 1970 Superbird and the gentleman's nice enough to let us film and, and discuss his cars. He's got a bunch of cars out here, which this one right here is super cool. I don't think I've ever even seen one. So he's gonna yeah, he first is. tell us about this uh, limo. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's go check it out. Uh, well, when I was a teenager, I uh, saw a 61 Chrysler New Yorker. And I fell in love with it, <laughs> with the car. The car. Yes. I spent all these years Looking for one, I came across this one. This came from Amarillo. It belonged to the Shriners. And they use it for a parade car. That's <laughs> wild. In what two weeks or three weeks, we've seen two Shriners cars. Oh really? They have it. They had three Barracuda convertibles made. Open the door. And one yeah. of them was in Can uh, Missouri yeah. Yeah. area. But it's 413. It runs. Air conditioner oh, works. Insane. Uh, what people like about it is a dash. I keep it covered up so the sun don't bake it, you know. Oh, it's yeah. got the globe. Whoa, yeah. look at that. Air conditioning system, is yeah. that factory? I don't know. Or is that like I, maybe a I think that's the other Arm added. Brewster. They made uh, these cars, uh, stage Fringy coach King? cars. That almost. is beautiful. Look at that dash. <laughs> it was a airport and limo. And it's in amazing condition. Yeah. All the interior is. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and it's got a little table there where you can have yeah. lunch. Let's go to the other side then. I, uh, I take it to car shows and uh, you get at the car show, right? So uh, who, what's right next to me, Davis? 55, 57 Chevys, everything? <laughs> yeah. People walk right by me. Because they, they, like, they never seen this before. Yeah. This thing is cool. They walk right by me and they come check out this car. Well, I've had the bumpers redone since I had it. It's a Chrysler, so doors. <laughs> this is where they put their luggage. <laughs> oh my God! For the airport. Uh, of course, ashtrays were, were pretty common. Look, it's got plenty of ashtrays. Yeah, plenty of ashtrays. Right up uh, there is a drink dispenser. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. I ended up acquiring another dashboard, but I ain't, ain't going to use it because this dash is good. But. So how long mm. have you owned this? About four years. Okay. And yeah. she runs and drives and everything. Yeah. Look, I just got. Take, I just took the insurance off of it to put on that Dodge Dart I got. Gotcha. Because uh, I was going to get the Dodge Dart uh, street ready, you know? Yeah. The day, the night before I was going to take it, get it inspected, 
so I get registered. I told the wife come out and pump the brakes. You know, because I said brakes mm -hmm. felt a little weird. The front brake, two front brake uh, calipers. Oh, open the bleeder valve, and then a drop came out. Uh, and it's got them four piston yeah. uh, calipers. So, so I'm gonna pull the calipers. More off. work. More work. <laughs> more work. <laughs> These are constant work. <laughs> yeah, I know. He didn't like everything else. He's, he's thinking. I mean, I've heard of a four door, but this is a four door on one side. <laughs> yeah, it's listed. On the, the title's listed as a four door. <laughs> But, yeah. It technically is because well five door yeah, right six doors it has oh it has that one yeah, too that so one it's is. a six door yeah. plus oh it's not it's not a but it had all the doors on this side cause this side when he drove up to the curb for the airport to load yeah. the passengers <laughs> that's really cool so this is really an airport limo yeah this is really an airport started it started right? life as an airport limo and it's, it's a West Texas car so uh, no rust issues that I see they had horns on there they had big different lot flashing light stuff i took some stuff i've been taking some stuff off going through the wiring sorting out i would imagine this is all original under here huh? i think the so motor and stuff like that i don't think so yeah i had to wash off about do you think this is was it originally red is this the original paint i'm wondering if it might have been white i think it's white. yeah i see yeah. the white yeah. and the white okay yeah. so i was just looking down oh and then white here yeah, yeah. so you're right i thought about taking the top off no but, I wouldn't do that at all. But you look at the head, look at the headliner. It's in it's in perfect condition. So I said I ain't gonna mess with it. And I wouldn't mess with this at all, man. I'd leave that sick, stuff. Sick. That is, is just a time capsule of. Well, see, it's at sixty one. That's why I like it because that's when I, that's I was born. 61. You were born in sixty one. Yeah. Yeah. So I always had. A, see, I was born in seventy three, and there's almost nothing cool in seventy three. I mean, yeah, you know, there's right. Broncos and there's Blazers and there's right. stuff like that, but. That's when and, the Musk cars and, started fading. Yeah, they started fading. I mean, the Cuda, 73 Cuda is a good one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, yeah. you know, just not my, not, not my cup of tea right, after no, like 71. Yeah, everything, I, always, I was always a 70 guy. I had 70 dark Swingers. My uh, high school car, when I was 15 years old, I bought a 71 Cuda, plum crazy. <laughs> three, three, that was my high school. I was 15 years old and uh, I washed dishes to pay the bank. My dad did the bank, bank praise of it. And I paid fifty dollars a week for it. <laughs> my dad wouldn't have done that at all. He would have yeah. said, "No, nah, well, I'm going to lawns." <laughs> my dad was a Mopar guy, and so, so uh, uh, we raced circle track Mopar. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, but wish uh, you still had that one, huh? We still got the car. The plum crazy one? No. I, oh, no. that's what I meant. I'm, I was young, working construction. You know, yeah. had two daughters, and wasn't making as much money as I am now. So uh, back then, that bought groceries I, oh, yeah. I sold it i wish i hadn't i sold it probably Great. almost 30 years ago if you, you'll notice that i'm kind of in the convertibles but i bought that 500 cubic inch yeah but the deal that is, looks like the cadillac they sold i don't know what i mean i didn't look at that close but the elvis cadillac was that a convertible or was that a hard top we saw sell at mecham for just went nuts went but crazy. i think it was a hard top that was one of them uh one hour jobs it turned out to be a two week oh yeah the exhaust man it had exhaust manifold leak right mm -hmm. so it's got eight exhaust manifold bolts and i heated them up wd-40 them did all that right but i've i've gotten plenty of broken studs and bolts out in my life mm -hmm. i'm an iron worker welder as well okay gotcha gotcha and five of the eight Jeez. broke off so here i am i need fender wheel trying to <laughs> redrill it you know <laughs> seven. finally i ended up having to pull the head off and, and yeah. it, so. it's always more than what we think yeah 64 Dodge 880. Yeah, I ain't seen too many of those. No, to I've never. I don't think I've ever had. We. I don't think we've ever had one. Yeah. And you look like you're a little VIP. bit Mopar. You're a Mopar, but you also have a little bit of Chevy and stuff here too. Yeah. Well, the guy that I bought this place from was a friend of mine. He was a Mopar guy. Okay. And he had like 20 some Mopars out here. And uh, they got rid of them. When I ended up buying a place from the estate, he ended up getting brain cancer and he passed away. And, oh man. Uh, but he's a good. Friend. He was real he good. He's a good friend of yours. Yeah, hey, this thing set for about 15 years. So I uh, pulled all the plugs out and was going to do the Marvel mystery oil, uh -huh. a couple of squirts in them. Uh, but as I was pulling the plugs out, they were all white, gray looking. I said, eh, good sign. <laughs> so I, uh, I, uh, I, I put the, I uh, put the oil in there bypass the gas tank because you know it's probably rusted. Uh, oh yeah you don't want to suck that stuff that's something it's fire right, fire right up. up i took it out yeah. i burnt rubber down no <laughs> way brakes <laughs> worked and everything yeah that wow thing, this thing 
It's a 361, I think. But this son of a bitch runs like a scalded ape. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never <laughs> seen one of these. Yeah, I ain't either. You can, you can. Not bad, yeah. it's a convertible. Oh, it's a convertible. That's yeah. Yeah. I was wondering why part of it was yeah. covered. I bought this probably six months ago. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. It's cool. I kind of like the dash. The upholstery is pretty decent shape. Yeah, the the early cars, the yeah. early Dodge and Plymouth had really cool dashes. And yeah, cool interiors. I tried the top switch, but it didn't do nothing. So I got to check the fuses and make some iron. Because you see, so what year is this? '64 Dodge 880. Convertible. Hey, I looked it up. I think they made a a thousand of them. '63 uh, Willis. 76 got a good running 350 in it it's gonna go to my brother because he's got a 55 he's a chevy guy you know the biggest my biggest satisfaction is find, getting an old car and it's been sitting for some years mm -hmm. get it to fire up that's that's the best I, I'm feeling with you. there is right i'm with you yes yeah that's what we like to do we like to get them pulled out yeah. a lot of, what we actually do a lot of times is the car got started being restored, painted or whatever, right? Yeah. And, yeah you know, somebody. they lose track of the dream. The kids yeah. come along and all of a sudden that car's sitting in there for like 20 years. Oh, yeah. And we buy it and we just finish the guy's dream. We yeah. don't change it. We don't like, go back. We just go forward. Right. Sometimes it, the paint's not perfect or this or that, but it's back on the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what we want. We want to see more of these back on the road. Yeah. Or at least able to be back yeah. on the road. So here's that's her, huh? Here's the bird. Kind of the, don't mind the mess. I've been... Clean it up. <laughs> Seventy thousand miles on it. I ain't started it in about two years, so I'm gonna. Is the tag in the house? Yeah, I got it with the key. That's hey, important. Hey, you know the story about that? I had to paint it, right? I had to paint it in 1991, and I get my stuff back, and uh, I said, "Where's the fender tag?" They said, "What fender tag?" Oh. And uh, but I had a little cardboard box with uh, extra cut off pieces for the rubber nose and stuff, you know, just little little extra pieces. Yeah. So one day it's been sitting in my garage for like five years, a little box. I said, I'm going to go through and get rid of it. Uh, open a cardboard box. You know how the, they, the flaps flow mm -hmm. down? Down the fender oh, tag. Under, the... Uh, under one of the flaps in the cardboard box. Jeez. So, I had a similar yeah. scenario. It wasn't that, but I put the somebody in our group, probably me, because right. I'm usually the one that screws things up like that. But we put the the fender tag in the wrong file. Oh yeah. And then like th for like two years, I thought we had lost yeah. it. Yeah. And I was just sick to my stomach right. because well, I didn't know they were that gonna, important. But a lot of people say we're oh, they're tag. really important. Yeah. And you well, know, like build sheet, I think. Oh, Even yeah. then, we have a build sheet too on, <laughs> on other cars, but this one didn't have a build sheet, and I lost the fender tag. I lost possession of it, and I was just sick. And every time I think about the car, I just like I feel like I ruined it because right. it doesn't have that tag. Oh, and yeah. I know it's not ruined, but I damaged it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so I kicked my own ass. Yeah, right. And then all of a sudden, we sold the car, yeah. and they went to deliver the car, and they pulled the stuff out of the file. And luckily, my friend Dan knows fender tags, and he pulls it up, and he goes, "This doesn't go to this car." Uh, yeah. And he sent me a picture of it, and I'm like, I mean, it was like happy dance. Yeah. Because, oh, yeah. you know, oh, you yeah, lose that's, something that's like feeling. that. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, the, the tag was returned to the car. But right. it, was, it was a little bit freaky for, I, for a moment. I had it in a couple of car shows. I still want to tinker with it more. I want to put the right ballast resistor on there, maybe. Maybe have the headlights, you know, prettied up. Yeah. But that's, it's supposed to be the original 440. It's got a Ain't got the original distributor. It's got the uh, XL dual point. Back then, I guess that was yeah. That was uh, make it run better. Yeah. So the but, gentleman that was talking to you on the phone was Tony. Yeah. He had to go home last night. You know, um, right. he, we've been gone for like two weeks, so his yeah. wife was really wanting to see him. Yeah. And so we're gonna be heading to so Albuquerque, your, so he went get home. Your, get your ass home. Yeah. Otherwise, he'd be here. But he's yeah. the one that had chat with you. He yeah. had said something about. You had given this car to your daughter yes. when she was like 12? she's 35. She's 35. She was 12 years old. She said, Dad, I want that car. I said, okay, sure. I talked to her last night after dinner, finally. She's, she's up undecided. She said, well, whatever you think, Dad, whatever. But this is something that me and my dad put together. So It's sentimental. I get yeah, it. Yeah, so. I get it. I, I gave my daughter a car when she was 16. Yeah. Well, I gave her a regular car, yeah. but I also gave her a 
what she wanted, which was a 73 square body uh, step side truck. Yeah. She just oh, yeah. loved them when she oh, was a kid. Yeah. Right. And she's still a kid to me. She's 25. Yeah. But um, uh, so I understand that. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. Um, just it depends, you know, everybody's yeah. different. Sometimes people can use the money versus the car. Right, and, yeah. You know, well, she's a school thing. teacher, and she's so school teachers ain't paid like they should. And yeah, no, I, I hear you. And she just bought a house two or three years ago. I said, Sam, sell that car, that'll get you in the house. And no, then I'm gonna hold on to that car. So, so is I that numbers that. matching? It's supposed to be. Okay. I don't, I ain't checked We can all check that. it for you. I'll really? let you know. Okay. Um, did she say that? A number that would make it worth her while to sell it? No, she said just, she just wants to see, she just act like she wasn't a, she didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it, you can see it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so. Well, we were hoping it was. Well, <laughs> that's right, right. It's got the. But we also understand sentimental value. And we yeah. understand daughter, father-daughter yeah. gifts and yeah. things. And so. If it's something she totally wants to keep, we're, we, we right. don't want to mess with that. Okay. But we are serious buyers of, yeah. of cars, especially yeah. Mopars. Oh, yeah. And um, we have a collection of Superbirds. So. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And this was the most popular color, color was it? The lemon I think it was. It's And it's funny. We have every color but this. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, these are legendary seats. Okay, so they've been recovered. Yeah. It's got the original headliner and the original back seat. Okay. And, of course, I changed the carpet. And then there was a build sheet, you said. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's been it's a, one repaint in the, yes. the 80s? Uh, 90, 90, in the 90s. In the 91. And I, I ain't never waxed. I ain't never done nothing to it. All original panels? Now, is this rare, this piece here, this chrome piece? I think that might be rare because I don't think... Because uh, I've had Mopar guys, I mean, uh, other Superbird guys say, hey... I'd have to know. look at that on ours because now that you and mentioned it's got it... And it's got the passenger mirror. So... Now... When I had it done, right here. As much as I've seen a million of these cars, now that you mention that, I, I, I'd have to reflect on yeah. that. Cause. This car came from, uh, I was working in Martinsville, Virginia, because being in the, the trade I'm in, I travel a lot, you know, mm -hmm. go where the work is. Yes. And I was working in Martinsville, Virginia, and of course, every I worked in a lot of different states, and when I, of course, first thing I do on the weekends, Let's go hunt cars. And, <laughs> and, You're uh, as bad as us. Guys on job say, hey, I know where one of the Roadrunners is. So I went, looked at it. I drove up to the guy's house. Of course, he drove up to his driveway. He said, all these no trespassing signs and everything. And I saw him standing outside. So I drove up, asked him if he'd be interested. In, I look at his car and asked him if he's interested in selling it. He said, I just sold it yesterday. And uh, he said, uh, Got me and God been going back and forth for a couple of years, and uh, he's supposed to come pick it up tomorrow. I offered him. He said, "I said you don't mind me asking, would you pay for it?" He said, "What did God pay you for?" He said, "8,500." 8, he's going to post by me, 8,500 tomorrow. I said, "If I give you 9,000 a day, will you take it?" He says, "Well, the guy's gonna be mad, but back then, the night in '87, he said, 500 dollars, 500 dollars." He said, "You give me the money today, you have it." I, Hauled ass to the bank, <laughs> cleaned out my savings account. My dad cleaned out his, and uh, gave him that money at night and drove it home. So nine thousand dollars bought it. Yeah. What year again was that? Eighty nine, eighty seven. Oh, eighty nine. Yeah, eighty nine. He told me the car belonged to Richard Petty's cousin. I don't know, but he said the guy killed himself. It came from Carolinas. Yeah. So luckily, it was undercoated. Yeah, because uh, they, 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 the humidity yeah. gets them there. And uh, when I had it done, had to do a patch, this is a patch panel here. Okay. And that side, quarter panel, has some Bondo on it. I think the doors and fenders, if I remember right, maybe got that much Bondo on them. Okay. Now the nose has Bondo. Yeah, they all crash those. Yeah, they all get dinged up. So. Yeah, we had to have ours reconstructed. But the guy did a good job of painting it. He, used, you know, he did lacquer and everything, did a good job. I think I paid him $5,000 to paint it back then in 1990. Anyone? So. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and. I, I just got my legendary door panels for the Charger. My New Year's resolution is get that thing going this year. Is this the original color, like a tan? Yeah. Sandalwood, I think, is what they yeah. call it. Something. It's a rare color. I think so. This it's, is a really rare color. It's a cool car. It is a cool car. I was working in Denver, Colorado in 91. And it was on a used car lot. 
I went out there and uh, uh, went to the car lot. The guy said, let's take it for a test drive. We took it. He took it and he nailed it, you know. Yeah. It ran good. Let me just check this real quick. So I bought this for $2,200, 1990. Okay. And I uh, drove it from Denver to here. A couple of stretches between Denver and here. Some long straightaways, right? I got up. I had the wife, the two kids in the back. Yeah, so I got up to 100, 100 miles an hour and still had plenty of pedal, of course. I said, well, these, these tires, I better back off. Of <laughs> but I drove it here, let, let it sit. And while I worked on uh, California, I spent five years on the East Coast, traveling, working, iron working. So, so did they, did you have it painted or is this? Yeah, I had it paint, repainted. But it was painted a long time ago? Yeah, it was painted a long time ago. Uh, I think the key, uh, I think it replaced both the quarter panels. Did you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, a lot of them need it, you yeah. know, unfortunately. Yeah. It's Gosh, this, would be, this would be cool. Is it a white vinyl top on this tan? Yeah. I bet you that's the only one. Maybe. It's, it, it, came from, uh, it came from California. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, this is not, I've never, personally, I've never seen one this color. It's got the tan interior, the brown interior. Yeah, I bet you this is the one of one. Yeah. Would be my guess on the options, you know, the color, the interior, the interior, and then the vinyl top, and then this is an RT. Yeah. Um, is it an SE? Do you know? No, just RT. Just RT? Yeah, just RT. The hood for it. I got the, I got the seats for it. Go ahead and tear it off. While I'm over here. No, I'm just anyway. looking. See if it's got the extra hose or something. Yeah, no. you're right. It's an R It's just just an RT. a charger. Yeah. RT. Here. I mean, just not an. Yeah, SE. that's my bucket seats for it, but. But they're, they're legendary. Oh, that brown. Yeah. So I was thinking the one with the cloth and stuff like that. So yours <laughs> no, is a solid vinyl brown interior with the tan and a white vinyl top. I I, yeah. I would say that I, I would be. I ain't seen. Anything. I would be hard pressed to believe that there's another one. Yeah. Just because this this color itself is just rare in yeah. general, and then you throw in the the different options that you have here. Yeah. You got everything pretty packed in here. No, oh, yeah, I mean, I, I had boxes and boxes from uh, the other, my, I had car parts at my other house. I had car parts in Bass Shop, other town. And I used to have a shop, a garage, that I did a lot of work on cars and stuff. But I got to, I got tired of working on, I built, worked on some of these Chevrolets. Uh, yeah. I hate it, my, my passion was Mopar, so I quit doing stuff for other people and started doing some. Do so I bought, this place, I bought this place about 10 years ago. Okay. And I've still been, got boxes. I, I'll sit right there in that chair and just go through boxes. Yeah. So, sewing away stuff. You would like yeah, our shop maybe. too, because we maybe. have very similar tastes. So maybe. our shop, we don't have any sheetrock or anything like that in there. It's just all open like this. Yeah. But we literally built a collage, and we're not done yet, but of all these types of signs and license plates and stuff, yeah. it's pretty much like collaged all together. Oh, really? And it, yeah. it yeah, I mean, I like it. Not yeah. everybody likes it, but yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, but you would like it just yeah. looking at what you yeah. what you've done here. So right, you and I love it? license sure. plates. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. looking at your wall, I you can see I that you're a of. license yeah. plate fan. Yeah. Well, they fit they fit pretty good in my back pocket when I went to the wrecking yards. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hey, you know them some of the wrecking yards. As long as they don't weigh you when you walk out, you know. You know yeah. If they charge you by the pound, yeah. you're in trouble. Yeah, the pick a pulls and all that. Because I, when I, I spent three years in Las Vegas, yeah, and every weekend I'd go to the pick a pulls and stuff. I knew what day they would get their new uh, shipments in and stuff like that. Yeah, so, um, it's not numbers. It's not it's numbers. Not numbers? Uh -uh. Okay. That's okay. We just, we just, yeah. No, yeah, I'm just letting you know. What's that number? What about the, the trans? Did you, you were able to get it to it, and it's not? Yeah, neither. Oh yeah. And they're both different. They're both. Different. So they're not matching to each other either. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Um, now that one's a blank block. No, no oh, so it's a warranty block. It must be. This yeah. one's a warranty block. Yeah. We can tell you what year it is. So you can see if it's a period correct or if it was maybe a warranty block that they, that they uh, sold new. I can't even see it. But that's my goal. Get this one on the road. I got a 69 New Yorker. I'm going to pull the motor yeah, out of it. That's right. It's, yeah, we'd have to and, uh, get some sandpaper or okay. something if we, want, if we want to check it out. But 
Okay. I love the warranty blocks because you know that yeah. you can put them in it. You know anything. Yeah. And you're not combining two right. different numbers. I had the grill rebuilt and stuff. Got yeah, these are getting harder to find. Yeah. The 70 grills and he's in supposed good to shape. use all the right bolts and all. The, did the over, uh, uh, overspray like the factory did. Or something. Yep. There's a guy in El Paso, Max Winter. Not not no part guy. We haven't. If you ever go to through him. El Paso? Look up. Max look Winter. him up. Okay. He's uh. Actually, I think we're probably going to be going through El Paso. Yeah. And, and tomorrow. He's got a beautiful charger he's putting together, kind of like a Hearst Gold. Does he sell stuff? Yeah. Okay. Maybe he's got, we should get his he's number got a whole crap, uh, whole, whole shop, a uh, little shed full of all the grills, charger grills. Gotcha. I don't know if it was him or a friend of his. He had some guy, connection guy with the movie people in California. And I think, I don't know if it was Max that told me he did it or a friend did it, but he redid, uh, worked on all the grills for the Dukes of Hazard cars. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. We yeah. just bought the Joe Dirt car. Oh, did you? You ever was seen that? the Joe Dirt movie? Yeah, I've seen that. That Daytona? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we bought one? it last oh, week cool. really? with a friend of ours. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. He's, uh, his name's Jeff Kelderman, and I, we went in on it. It wasn't yeah. cheap. Yeah. And right. they, they aren't cheap, unfortunately, when right. they no, celebrity Mopars cars. Cheap. And yeah. then Mopars in general, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we, we picked that up. We had it for a few days, and then we just shipped it, but we took it to a car show in Florida. Oh, We've been on the road for 13 13 or 14 days yeah so we we uh we do this about four times a year where we get on the road and go out and meet people like you yeah. and but, uh and buy cars yeah, so that's, that's what my problem was i i worked out of town a lot you know some i was away and that's why everything would go to some stuff you know let cars yeah. sit too long they go to shit it all it's so, time and money man so, either we have the money and not the time or we have the time and not the money it's you know it's it's both so, so i'm still i'm retired but i'm still working because they want me to and uh i will in three years, I'm gonna fully retire. So, and I'm told I'm a told the company and tell everybody and myself and I ain't going to work out of town no more. So, yeah, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna try to get this work wise. Get going. Get play play with my play with my toys. Yeah, I I I'm get with you some other stuff. And, uh, Can you? We only have till noon uh, okay. to get the money. If she decided yeah. to take the offer, could you uh -huh. ask her just before so that yeah. we don't? Uh, She's at a baseball game. I oh, think. She is. Yeah. Okay. I can ask her. We don't normally go places she don't. and don't load stuff up on our truck. So right. we've okay. been all over southern Texas. We've bought several cars, but we haven't been able to load anything up on our on oh, our truck sorry. because of one reason or the other. Yeah. So um yeah. but uh we we bank yeah. at Wells Fargo and I think there's one local oh, but it's probably, only yeah. open till noon. I see. So and we so we got like fifty three minutes. Yeah. So cool. I see. There's a completely rebuilt That's cool. transmission and Engine three three engine right there. It's oh ready, yeah, ready to go. Man, that thing looks nice. Yeah, uh, the old man that lived here built. He it. built it. Yeah, it looks was. brand new. Look at those uh, yeah. uh, he was, HP yeah. manifolds. They're like yeah. they look yeah. pristine. Yeah, there was a three eighteen right there. A buddy of mine bought it. Yeah, he put it in his Dodge Dart. We took it. Fired right up. Want me to hire? It fired right up. Yeah. Me when I do it, you know how many times you got a uh, crank on yeah. your sugar in there, or hopefully you got one eighty. Yeah. <laughs> We put it in his car, it fired right up. He drove, it ran good. That's awesome. So you got some, you got a Thunderbird here. Yeah, of course everybody likes the fat man seats in there, right? You know about them, don't you, Davis? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I need to send out the herd and focus. I'm gonna focus on the charger. Is the charger something you'd sell? I don't know, I don't, don't wanna sell it till I get it running. I wanna. I we gotta ask. I wanna, We're Mopar guys that yeah, chase cars. Oh, we yeah. gotta ask. Oh yeah, that's how I buy parts. That's how I buy cars. Right? <laughs> exactly. Hey, that's how I bought the Superbird. Drove up the guy's drive. Drove up to him and said, "Hey, yeah, is that for sale?" Hey, back then, uh, what was ninety one hundred dollar bills? Uh, he <laughs> that was big he, money. He, he couldn't finish counting them, man. He, he was shaking everything. He, he was he was excited. He bought it for probably yeah. thirty five hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poor guy probably kicked himself in the ass now, but yeah. On. Working on it, but hell, due to my work, I got sent out of town, and I would spend two, three, four years out of town. Yeah. How long has it been since it was running? Probably two years. Probably. Oh, only two years. I thought yeah. it was longer yeah. than that. So it would just fire up then. Yeah, it always, it always did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't worry about it. Is it two years that was really six years, and we just yeah. lose track of time? No. It's or been was it really two years? It's been about two years. About two years. Okay. I fired it up. Okay. Yeah. When's the last I time? I ran it out of gas. When's the last? Oh, that's good. Yeah. What? What? When's? What's? When's the last time she drove it? Oh, Your she daughter. never drove it. Uh, really? Yeah, I drove it. I'd drive it, and neighbors would want to all give me a ride. Yeah, they all want to get a ride. You want to go see the dart? 
Sure, let's go. I really see a Dodge Dart. One owner. <coughs> oh man, this I can already see. This is if that's original paint. Let's, let's take this it off. Is spectacular. Let's undress it. So this is a 70? 72. 72, okay. 340 or 600? 318. 318? Uh, power brakes. Let me grab the keys. Damn. Look Damn, at the inside here. of it. Oh, wow. It's a time That's capsule. incredible. This thing's a time capsule. What are you doing? Wow, this thing's clean. I ain't put the hubcaps back on because I was cleaning them up before I put them back on. This is a nice car, bud. Look at this. Yeah, this thing's clean. You gotta check out that interior. Let's check this out. Let me pull this out. Look at that interior, it looks brand new. Did they redo this or is this original? That's all original. No way. Yeah. Still got the original space saver. Yeah. Look at is that it? interior. It's still. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> Starts That's awesome. right up. Starts right up. Yeah. I'll put a new gas quarters. tank on it and I'll put new rubber fuel lines on it. Is that the original paint or has it been yeah. one repaint? No, this is the there original paint. Original. Look at it's the got vinyl the original top. sticker. Doesn't even have rust in the vinyl top. Mm -mm. Was this in some Must been somebody's in garage. garage? Yeah, blonde to uh, uh yeah. She it was in the military. Uh she I think they told me she shipped it to Germany and stuff when they went there then. Yeah. Is this for sale? Let me, I'm gonna drive it first. <laughs> well, got, we could buy it and you can drive it for a while right. and then ship it. Yeah. <laughs> very cool, man. Clean, huh? Very hey, clean. Are uh, you yeah. my poor guy? I'm a, I'm a car guy. Very, very clean. You don't it, find I, very many like this. All I can say is wow. Yes. This is, this is a, an incredible car. The condition is just. Yeah. Now that, she had a mechanic that worked on it. I think he had it ground wires and he probably. Might have changed the power booster, looks like. And he changed the oil cap, looks like. That's not like 72. Oh, yeah. Years. That's like a newer. Yeah. But, uh, he told, he contacted me. Even the buzzer works. The light, yeah. or the, I wonder. If, yeah, and the light, the dome light and the buzzer works too. He said, uh, I tried to, I've been trying to buy that car for 20 years for that lady. He said. Uh, 2013 was the last time I was on the road. Yes. This is a survivor. This is an original paint, original interior, original vinyl top, original engine, little time capsule. Look at this interior. This thing's incredible. The dome light works, the buzzer, the dash isn't all cracked up, the door panels are beautiful, the paint is beautiful, and this is original. I got the I put new tires on it, so I ain't put. I'm gonna oh, clean the them, clean them up on? before I put them wow. on. Wow! Yeah, just I cleaned that like one up. Took a sharpie. Yeah, that one looks really, really good. Took a sharpie and did the letters, you know. <laughs> so, but yeah, where you at? I'm using my finger, cleaning each one of the slots, you know. Oh yeah, they're yeah. pain. Yeah. So, and I was gonna get it ready. Like I said, to damn, uh, get it inspected, so I could make it drive it. Oh, and then the brakes. In the front brakes. Gotcha. So, guess it. Calipers are stuck. I mean, the pistons are stuck or something. You don't find them very often like this. No, no. This is uh, this is a time capsule. This is a time capsule for sure. Yeah. I'm glad you have it covered up. Yeah. But I'm looking to, forward to getting in the garage. It, I need to get it in the garage. <laughs> yes. well, I'll put it over there where I got This is one car that should not be outside. Yes. This car should be in the garage. And we've been getting hail and stuff here. Oh my gosh. Now you're killing You better go down and buy some foam stuff and yeah. just lay it across the top. Yeah. That big we hail cardboard. comes here, it can yeah. destroy this car. I told the wife I'll have, be, have my body laying on top of it. You'll be getting beat up by yeah. the hail trying yeah. to protect it. 46 Ford it runs. Hey. 
Hemi car in that 51 Chrysler. <laughs> <laughs> Got a Hemi in it. Got a three, three what is that, a 392 or a 331? Yes, I think 331. Something like 331. that. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is spectacular, man. Yeah. You don't find them in this condition. No. I like them like this because I like survivors. Yeah. I'm a survivor fan. Yeah. And this one hasn't even had paint touch up. Mm -mm. You know? Yeah. So you don't find them that often like this. No, uh, Was this from this area? Yeah. Did you go yeah. You said you do a lot of uh, traveling, so I didn't know if you found yeah, it like, in yeah. another state. No, hell, I was coming home. I was pissed off. Because <laughs> I bought, you see them, the torque thrust, come looking the torque thrust wheels laying around? So I bought four of them, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go pick them up. There was only three. So I stole one. I'm driving home, it was about an hour away. I'm driving home because I saw a state sale sign. Let's check it out. Sitting Have this there, there in the garage. That's amazing. You want, to, you want to hear a story about it? Yes. <clears throat> well, I got there about 11 o'clock. They said they were taking open bids for it, mm -hmm. person bids for it. Silent. They said that bid had stopped at 12. But the starting bid was 5500 so, you know, you're doing your calculating and thinking, uh, people probably went to six. Uh -huh. So I said, six, six thousand six, one dollar. I said, I should have. <laughs> I said, 6,100. He said, so I said, okay. He said, bid us up to 12. Uh, we'll let you know. I said, all right, this is North Austin. I said, I'll hang around, go get something to eat. You know why? We'll get something to eat, hang out for a little bit. But as I'm walking out the door, he said, oh, you are the high bidder. Just let you know. He said, but bid us up to 12. And, uh, so I'll go, so I'll go close to a bank. I'll do get the money. Twelve oh two. He calls me. And you won the car. Then he's so I was, I was only about 15, 20 minutes away. I went inside the bank, got a cashier's check, took it to him. He said, "Man, five minutes after I called you, a guy came in here. Said uh, he'd been trying to buy that car for years. He said uh, he'd offer you substantially more. He said he left the car. Please call me. And I called him." He's a president of the Austin Mopar Club. Trying to find out. He was her mechanic. He said, I've been trying to buy that car for 20 years, Robert. Yeah. So he, he has was, first dibs. He was fine. I told him that. But yeah. But I think I, I think uh, that's all I think that's right. Yeah, well no, but No, I, mean, I think, you know, he, I think he kinda lied to me. Ah. Uh, well. Because I told him I, I said, Well, do you know if it's the original twelve thousand mile car? He said, I, I doubt it. He said it's probably hundred twelve. I don't think it's a hundred. I mean, look at the odometer. Yeah. I don't think it's. So you see how that one is right there in the front, and it's just fixed, and then all these other numbers have changed, and they're kind of a little bit jumbled up. I, 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 I mean, I kind of feel like with the condition of the car, look at the, the, the brake pedal and, the, and just the, the condition, the dash pad, look at the seats and that, I, I would be, I would believe that this is a 12,000 mile car, which I'm, I would, I'm the guy that's literally like skeptical of that kind of stuff because I can't imagine anything being around for 50 years and not getting more than 12,000 miles. But I mean, look at the buttons on this radio. Radio works. And look at all of this stuff. And then yeah. just the coloring. Nobody restored this car. This is original. Original dash, original interior. I mean, look at the condition uh, of this interior. My grandson pushed the cigarette lighter And the, the day. carpet. It's never been worked, it's never been used I don't really know how the carpet's supposed to be in 72. I'd have to do some research to say if it was the original carpet. Um, but with the little wear that it has and stuff like that, I would be, I would believe that this is the original carpet, the original headliner, original seats. This is really a time capsule. This is a beautiful car. I'm not really into A bodies, but this is one of the ones that I would, I would take home. It's from Canada. If it's from Canada, it's a miracle because they rusted out there. So, well, something they got transported either to or from Canada. What a cool ass car, man. What a cool car. 
I believe. I believe. I believe it's twelve thousand. I believe it I do. is too. Like it's got yeah. A Canada transport stick in it. Because it probably parked for a few years since twenty thirteen is when it was the last time it ran. But I mean, even from like you know seventy two to twenty thirteen, you know, you'd think that they have two hundred thousand miles on it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But when you look at the odometer and the way that it's rolled, and yeah. then you look at like the, the the stereo and the buttons on the stereo and the, and the brake pedal and all the different things, we you and I both agree yeah. that nothing's right. been changed in here really. Right. And for it to be that yeah. incredible condition, I would say that this really is a twelve thousand mile car. That's, I was, that's I, amazing. I don't have no documentation saying no. that. No. And I wrote this. The son lives in California. He sent the title to here. And I wrote him a letter asking if he had any more documentation for it. He, he, never, he didn't have he anything. Never, he never replied. Yeah. I said, all right, whatever. So I'm gonna get. I was gonna get running right and cruise it a little bit. Very yeah. cool car. Very very cool car. But like let's I said, cover it back up so it doesn't get, get it, messed yeah. up. I'll get it. It'll be a... Here, help me, David. I don't want this one to sit out. <laughs> I know. My well, neighbors, Robert, you need to get that in the garage. Yes, you do. I agree with the neighbors. Got the slots here for the antenna. I love estate sales. Yeah. I do too. For stuff like this, this is really cool. Yeah. Because you know, somebody, you know, the family, somebody, you know, if the family wanted it, somebody would have would have come forward. Well, you the know? mother was here. The son's in California. I guess he, did, he, did he didn't want it. Up. He didn't want it. But a lot of the, you know, just because the this generation, the next generation doesn't always fall in yeah. line with the older uh, generation. I bought this house and stuff. He had a bunch of Mopar stuff. His, his daughter and his sons, they didn't want nothing. They, yeah, yeah, they we were wanted, interested. Mm -hmm. We just wanted the money from the sales. So yeah. I ended up with a bunch of new old stock. I got a couple of bins in there, a bunch of new old stock, you know, bearings. and He was a transmission guy. I got a bunch of transmission parts, clutches, bands, stuff like that. So new old stock stuff from Chrysler because he worked at the Chrysler dealer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of years. Very cool. Very cool. Um, well, I wish we could make a deal on that yeah. Superbird because mm -hmm. uh, well, we love pulling right. cars out of shops and yeah. barns. Oh, yeah, it'll take, us, it'll take <laughs> us so many days to get that out of there. Oh, no. Yeah. We'd get that out. Yeah, it's take probably four we, or we got that. Oh, we yeah. got that hauler right there. We'd be moving yeah. things around and we'd get yeah. that yeah. thing out in a couple hours. Yeah. Well, but. my plan is I got I got I had to change the fuel sending unit in that Corvette. Got had had a bunch of rust coming into the fuel line, so um, I pulled the gas tank off, which is a pain in the neck. And but the only thing rusted was the fuel sending unit. Hmm. But yeah, I had to pull the back bumper off and I didn't just get to the fuel lines and everything. So, but inside the gas tank was kind of it looked like it had some might have been lined to something. There was no rust inside the gas tank. The gas tank itself it was just the fuel sending unit was all rusted. Huh. So I put a new fuel sitting in, you know, and now I just got to put the back bumper back on. I had to cut one of the exhaust muffler slots to yeah. get the tank out of there. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's in there. So it took me hours to get the tank in and out, you know. So. Yeah. But, uh, and then you I got a motorcycle that, you know, too. You got yeah, a Harley. Yeah, Harley 2003 Harley. So. Uh, you ride that a lot? I haven't rode it in over a year. I no. got it out of the garage a month or two ago. Yeah. Because it was blocked in, so I could get stuff out. <laughs> yeah. So. You need a bigger yeah. garage. You need to make, like, take all that s s metal you got back there and build something right here. That'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. That'd be killer. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I got enough iron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, I got oh, I'm sure many you got more, more than that. Than that. I'm yeah. sure you got more than that. I've been an iron worker this year. It's 45 years I've been an iron worker. So yeah. I've worked on a lot of big jobs downtown Austin and stuff, and all the uh, a lot of the rails came from the stadiums, and uh, I'm working at the airport, so a lot of getting a lot, a lot of steel. It still gets lead, it still gets taken out. So I got a trailer and I got a truck. Yeah. Pull it down. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, hey, uh, we don't uh, we don't want to take yeah. your whole day. Oh yeah. We don't want to yeah, take your whole day. Gonna, but, yeah, like that. So. Um, it was nice meeting you. Trey. No, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, absolutely. Here, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, that was interesting. Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> lot of cool stuff. Very cool place, very cool person. Uh, he was really, you could tell he really uh, loves cars. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are sitting outside and, you know, damage is 
happening, but they were all project cars when he got them, so. Um, but uh, super nice guy. We, you know, we didn't, we didn't, I guess Tony hadn't mentioned anything about us videotaping and uh, got there. I went up there and talked to him first just to make sure it was cool if we did. And he was, he was welcoming to it. So, um, so anyway, we went through his collection of cars, some of the stuff outside, tons of parts, right? Yeah. Oh, he gave you some cool stuff. Yeah. He gave, gave me a, some, uh, emblems for Dodge. old Dodge trucks. And he gave us that bottle of, uh, power strange food, original milk car, power strange food. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So yeah, so we, we, we the the bird is amazing. Oh. You know, it was actually a really good car. Yeah, yeah. I um, mean, super nice car. Yeah, and uh, sucks it wasn't numbers matching, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Though but not, yeah. you know, a lot of them were, you know, a lot of them were, yeah. uh, um, you know, they were cars. You blow up the motor, it's cheaper to throw a, a used one in than it was to rebuild it. So. Yeah, absolutely. But super cool car, um, super cool story. He, he's owned it since '85. It was kind of a survivor with, yeah. you know, some little bit of lower uh, rear quarter, you know, rust and, you know, like everybody in the late 80s, 90s, we wanted to make them pretty. Nice car. Yeah, we wanted to make them better. Um, so anyway, we talked to him, uh, chatted a little bit about, you know, price, made an offer. Um, he called his daughter and uh, she was just like, no, nah, I'm not, I, I, I want to hold on to it, dad. And so. You know, we, we respect that because, you know, there's cars that we don't want to sell, you know, oh, okay. so. Um, but we at least made the attempt and uh, and uh, we were friends with them when we got there. But better friends while we're there. Really yeah. enjoyed chatting with them and we're still friends leaving. So, we, you know, we, we, it was a win-win. We didn't get a car. Probably the first time in history that we've literally drove a whole state and we still have nothing on our truck yeah. or trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find something. But, Maybe, but anyway, we're heading we're heading back to Dallas. Um, Tony's there uh, loading up the uh, Akuda that we had gotten through Dennis Collins and Richard Rollins, um, and his dad just you know fell in love with the car. It's a Cuda, it's a Barracuda convertible uh, with a 440 in it and stuff. And so uh, Tony's dad's birthday is today yesterday. or tomorrow? Yesterday, okay. And we're headed out there to get a '69 Shelby. GT500 that was painted pink. We bought it literally on Easter. Um, and so it's been about a month since we bought it, but we need to go pick it up. Um, Tony was, Tony's family lives in Albuquerque and he was out there on Easter and his dad took him by this car and they bought it and stuff. So anyway, we're heading there to pick it up, to take it back to California so we can finish the build. It's kind of like about 70% of the way there on, on the restoration. And then, uh, so since we're heading that way, um, we're gonna actually load up the uh, the convertible and surprise Tony's dad. He he bought it uh, through us or from Richard Rollins and Dennis. We bought it from them, and then he he you know Tony worked a deal to where we could get him the uh, the convertible. Um, we still have the '71 Challenger convertible, um, but the Cuda's the '70 Cuda is going to go to uh, to Rob uh, Tony's dad. So we're uh, Tony's loaded up. We're gonna go up there. Literally just switch trailers load up a Hemi Roadrunner 68 to take back to California with us and then we're gonna head to um, some town that's a couple hours from San Antonio so I don't even know the name of it Tony's getting us the address but we're gonna stop and look at a 68 Charger that's painted black we have a customer that's been wanting one and so we've been looking for one for him and uh, so hopefully this is the car and uh, so if so we'll buy it um, with the intent to uh, to get it to this gentleman, um, I think in Southern California, I think that's where he's from. But anyway, um, we're gonna, so that's that's the plan, head up to Dallas, uh, grab the trailer, uh, Tony's gonna jump in with us, and uh, then we're gonna head to uh, look at this charger and then continue on to Albuquerque um, to meet up with his dad, so, and uh, have a birthday dinner, and then the next day pick up the pink 69, GT500 Shelby. So, um, anyway, we'll keep you posted. <laughs>